energy source, wood is still underestimated. Even though wood is one of the world's largest commodities on the energy markets and the most important source of renewable energy. In Europe, wood makes up 58% of all sustainable energy sources and thus outranks wind, water, and sun combined. In developing countries, many people get all of their entire energy requirements from wood. Due to the importance of wood as a sustainable resource for the future, there are a number of initiatives for the modern and clean use of wood energy worldwide. Wood can be turned into electricity and converted into gas, oil, petrol, and diesel. This is not utopia, but reality. Today, the Austrian city of Gussing is already generating 80% of its heating with wood. Africa, with its extensive wood resources and barren landscape, offers great potential for making money with wood. Sustainable production of firewood and charcoal provides a new source of income for small farmers and provides a local energy supply. In Senegal, 25,000 hectares of wood are currently being reforested. In the Casamance region, household incomes are very low, and thus households cannot afford to buy butane gas. All households use wood to cook their rice. That means that without wood, people cannot eat. This is why the forest is of the utmost importance. Today, people can also generate income from forest products other than wood, such as charcoal, fruit, roots and bark, and that improves people's livelihoods, particularly in rural areas. In Madagascar, unused spaces are converted into energy forests. Already today, a thousand forest farmers are working as energy entrepreneurs. They produce green charcoal for cities by using modern management methods. Our reforestation program is considered to be a model project in Madagascar today. The government is now initiating new programs in other regions of Madagascar. There are similar projects in Congo, Kenya and Uganda. In Rwanda, wood makes up 5% of the gross domestic product. We are still dependent by about 86% on biomass energy for cooking purposes. In the urban areas, and to those people who, who we would categorize as high level income, we are dependent on charcoal by more than 95%. I'm not really ashamed to say, as a minister, I cook by using charcoal. Private and government organizations in Africa also invest in the modern use of wood for energy production. In Uganda, for example, we are looking at the gasification technology for cooking in institutions, households, the industrial processes, food drying. We are also looking at electrical applications for industry and rural electrification. In regions without a reliable energy supply, wood is often the only source of energy. The second largest tea plantation in Malawi, Lujeri Tea, employs up to 5,000 employees. In addition to tea, they produce firewood to dry the tea using modern technology. Today, Lugeri tea is energy self-sufficient, whereas before, it was dependent on coal imports from Zimbabwe. The examples show that whoever invests in sustainable forestry now is banking on a promising future energy source. If African countries today reforest their vast areas, they will provide their population with energy, build an energy supply which is independent from fossil energy sources, and provide their country with energy security. Wood is life and will be the key to Africa's energy supply today and even more so tomorrow.